Okay, so I'm just going to run through the setup for the Saver integrator into um, Biotime and also the Dropbox and how the data comes through. So the first thing is get Biotime up and running and set up your devices. I'm not going to explain that, but watch that in another video. Um, then what you need to do is set up Saber Integrator. Now just to explain that to you quickly, I'm going to, it's already running here, so I'm just going to go through the settings. So when you've installed Saber Integrator, um, it will automatically, uh, there's actually a video that explains how to set it up as well, so I'm not going to go through the full setup of Saber Integrator. I can refer you to that video rather. Um, but it's fairly straightforward and well presented by Dalen, the guy that wrote the software. Okay, but what you do need to do is make sure that once you've set it up, it's on auto pull, and then um, you also need to go and set up the um, the service. Uh, there is a shortcut here, which is under this folder here. You you can note the folder down, and you need to go and run uh, the Saber Integrator install, which looks like this. Okay, and what that'll do is it will create a schedule which will make it that Saber, will, Saber Integrator will start up automatically and it will auto run. However, there is one little issue which is going to get fixed that it does. It should automatically run straight to the tray but instead of that it actually runs to your screen and then the client has to click on the minus sign to get it down to the tray. So that's the first thing. Mm -hmm. The second thing is you need to set up, now this I'll go through in more detail, the Dropbox um, because there isn't a video on the Dropbox. So I'm going to restore that to show you the settings. I'm going to turn this off so that I can show you the configurations. So once you've installed the Dropbox or you run the Dropbox, you need to set up the various things, the username and password, which is standard sysdba master key, and connect to the database folder or the database path, which is uh, in Saber. You'll find the path over here. And then you need to set up the the, the, the path for the uh, or the one that's already pre-configured in the INR file. So this should be there already. Okay, so you actually shouldn't have to set up any of this. But basically what it is is you've got a common Dropbox path, which is the, the same as where the integrator is pointing to as to where to drop the files. And then uh, this program will pick up any file that arrives there and it will drop any of the processed files um, into a folder called Processed. I'll show you that quickly over here. So it will uh, it automatically utilizes these folders. This folder automatically gets created. These two have to be manually created or it will be created as part of the install. So what happens is when you've got a file, like this file over here, I'm going to cut it from there and I'm going to drop it into the Dropbox folder, which is this one. And you'll see it being processed automatically in the background if the read auto read is on. So it won't do it at the moment. Okay. Once it's processed, it'll move it to that that folder. If the file is invalid or there's any issues with the file, it'll put them in here. So this is where your exception logs are, and uh, and the pro this this folder shouldn't be here. Yeah. So that's how it looks. And the, and anything that there's invalid files, it'll put it into that folder over there. Okay. So. That's basically the setup. It is pre-configured, so you shouldn't have any issues with that. So if I go back here, I can either manually read or I can click auto-read. So if I put auto-read on, it should automatically pick up that file and it should pull it into Saber. There it goes. Okay, so likewise, with the um, uh, as I was explaining about uh, running it as a service, okay, or a scheduled service, um, what happens is uh, it'll open for the client like it is here and the client must click on minimize and but that will be automated so that it will automatically pull it down to the tray as soon as that's done hmm. ah, now i can't even minimize it uh, anyway so yeah so likewise you have to you have to also run and uh, support files and services uh, you can run the Dropbox, which will automatically run it as a service. In fact, because it's running already as a service, if I, if I closed it, okay, it's now closed totally, but without me doing anything, it should automatically, you see it's not running here, it should mm. automatically start up on its own because the service is trying every minute. It'll reopen it if it's been closed. Mm. So let's just see if it starts up. Mm. There we go, so it's automatically started up. 
and basically the client just has to click the minus sign over here to get it out of the way and it's running in the train and that's cool. basically how the service works and if you want to see the services you go here to the, the task scheduler and you'll see the different services running here um, it's, it should be under saver there's the saver dropbox and there's the saver integrator uh -huh. Sure, well, it says it's not running, but it is running, so it's fine. But anyway, so that's basically it. Yeah, so let us know if you have any problems and come back to us. With